2021 was a pretty great year for TVs. Mostly. There were a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, consumers got a great selection of TVs to choose from. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Caleb Dennison, and today I want to run down my favorite TVs of 2021. Now, if you're watching this video from the future, and I can guarantee you are because I know you're not watching me right now, are you? Well, worry not, these TVs are expected to be available well into 2022 and should be on your list for sure. Also want to mention that these are very personal picks based on my experience testing a vast array of TVs over the year, but I'll be sure to offer some broad perspective as we go along, okay? Before I dig into it, I want to know, what was your favorite TV of 2021 and why? Did you buy it? How's that going? Let me know down in the comments so we can talk about it and a quick reminder to like this video if you agree with me and if you dislike it, take a hike. I'm kidding. Hit the dislike. I can take it. And I want to know how you feel. Also, smash upon that subscribe button because give away at 1 million subs. Be a part of the solution. Thanks for your support. Let's do this. Let's start with my top pick for the year. To be clear, this is not my best TV of 2021, which I'm reserving for a specific model for a very specific reason, but it is best TV of 2021 adjacent and I'm talking about the LG C1 OLED TV. This is the best TV that I think most folks will wanna buy. It's an OLED TV, which means perfect blacks. It offers amazing contrast and color. It's got just about every bell and whistle you could possibly want, and it is the best gaming TV you can buy in 2021 as well. It comes in an array of sizes from the more compact 48 inch version all the way up to an 83 inch monster. And since OLED has established a firm foothold in the TV space at this point, prices are more approachable than ever. Whenever people ask what TV they should buy, I usually follow up with a list of qualifying questions, but when I can't do that and I've got to pull something out of my back pocket, it's the LG C1 every time because it's the most no brainer TV option of the year. I love it. Next TV on my list is the Sony A90J, and I have this TV picked as the best option for movie lovers and video purists. The A90J is also an OLED TV, and what it lacks in gaming-centric features, and it's still great for gaming, by the way, it makes up for in pure cinematic bliss. Sony's processing offers tremendous depth, detail, and smoothness that other TVs just can't quite match. And the A90J is the brightest OLED TV made to date thanks to special heat dissipation technology. If you're a movie lover, if you want the absolute best picture you can get, the A90J is it, no question. Following up on that is the TCL 6 Series. Now, if you follow TVs, you are probably not surprised to see this TV makes the list. TCL has been offering tremendous picture quality at low prices for a few years now, and the TCL 6 Series continues that tradition, this time as an 8K TV with mini LED backlighting. It performs as well as TVs costing hundreds, if not thousands more, which makes it a value leader. Now, this is the TV I recommend most, and I've never had anything but huge thank yous come back for that recommendation. Now, there are two versions, a Roku TV version and a Google TV version. The Google TV version comes with a few extra perks since it was released later in the year, but both are solid options. So go with whichever smart TV platform you prefer, or honestly, whichever model you can get your hands on fastest. Next up is the Hisense U7G. This TV shocked me this year in the same way that the TCL 6 series shocked me a few years ago. Its brightness abilities punch well above its price point. It offers incredible black levels for such a bright TV and its price can't be beat. The 65 inch model represents the best TV you can buy under $1,000 and frankly, enough said. Got a $1,000 budget? Buy this TV and thank me later. Oh, and if you want more of a good thing, the Hisense U8G is also a killer option. I've got the best TV of 2021 coming up in a moment, but before I get to it, I wanna talk about the Samsung QN90A. This is a mini LED backlit QLED TV with intense brightness, solid black levels, excellent color accuracy, great upscaling. It's got raw power with finesse, which is a unique combination not found elsewhere on this list. Now, I got to review this TV early in the year, and so I feel like it hasn't gotten talked about enough lately because 
It really is an excellent TV with a host of Samsung exclusive features. Pair it with the Samsung soundbar and you have a mini home cinema that will have the neighbors banging down your door. Finally, the best TV of 2021 award goes to, drum roll please, the LG Gallery Series G1 OLED TV. Honestly, it was a really close call between the LG G1 and the Sony A90J I talked about earlier, but the G1 here wins out for a few reasons. One, it's one of the brightest OLED TVs you can buy. Two, it's got four HDMI 2.1 ports and all the gaming friendly features you could possibly ask for. And three, it looks better up on the wall than any other TV on this list, thanks to a combination of its thin profile and its custom mount solution, which by the way, comes in the box. In fact, if you wanted to stand mount this TV, you'd have to buy the legs separately. When you add all of those factors together, the LG Gallery Series G1 is the whole package. Done and done. Thanks for watching everyone. What did you think of my list? Which one would you have wanted to see listed here? Leave me a comment about that down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and here's two other videos I think you'll like.